an eight row 30 inch uh, North Star gearing hop. And I've been working on this uh, corn head for about three years or so. Um, it, it's a good corn head. Uh, we're just trying to make it work a little bit better. Um, one of the first things is we, we went in and, and made a uh, BT chopper that would adapt right onto the square shaft um, that's on the stock roll. And uh, boy, those are, those are working great. Uh, of all the, out of the six or seven corn heads we have upgrade kits for, um, this one here, I think, uh, does just a super job of being able to chew up those uh, stalks and turn it into confetti. Um, the, the next thing that we did was uh, put on a, a newer set of stripper plates, have a little bit of bevel in them, and that really allows more of the uh, residue and the husks and the leaves to go on down through the row unit. So I'm getting a lot less of the combine, and today it's making it real easy to uh, uh, separate without getting any rotor loss. Um, the third thing that we've done is uh, slowed this header down and now with the BT choppers on there getting a good grip on the stock, we, we just don't need the tip speed or the stock roll speed uh, to pull that plant down. So uh, we've knocked off about two to, to four mile an hour off the tip speed. So now we're pulling the stock down about eight or nine mile an hour uh, where it, uh, OEM from the factory was, was pulling the stock down from 12 to 14 mile an hour. And in my opinion, uh, uh, tip speed on the stock roll is directly related to the amount of uh, yeah, mud shelling. You're back there. So the other thing that we did this year that's new is um, we've gone to a larger uh, gathering chain drive sprocket. And one of the things that that's doing is, is getting us more synchronized ground speed to gathering chain speed. Uh, this particular gearbox, um, we felt that the speed ratio was really slow um, on the gather chain, really fast on the stock roll. So uh, went from a 10 tooth to a 12 tooth, about a 20% increase in gather chain speed. And again, that allows us to slow those stock rolls down, uh, cut back on the butt shelling, allows me to get ground speed here without having to have header speed. So uh, um, that's certainly been a, a huge improvement to this corn head. Uh, it's just to run a little faster gathering to each speed than what it used to be. So in conclusion, and I've, I've spent the last 20 years, 25 years perfecting corn heads, and um, uh, the gearing hop here was the last one that we worked on. I think we got her dialed in now. We're really happy with it. But we, We've perfected all makes and models of corn heads, and so if you need help um, tuning up your corn head, you know, uh, feel free to go to our uh, website at calmercornheads.com, and uh, you can view all the kits there, a lot of videos. Also, um, you can look up look stuff on Facebook, um, YouTube, a lot of videos about setting combines. And last but not least, feel free to call me on my cell phone. I keep it on 24 hours a day. That number is 309-368-1182. With that, have a great harvest.